this is the project I've been working on for my Hunter 31 sailboat. In the head, the counter was old, the sink was old, and the faucet was old. And I took out, this is the counter from uh, the that I took out right there, and you can see where the faucet went in, and you can see where the sink went in. And the old sink was just looked terrible. I got this as a new sink I got th through uh, RV updates. And uh, it was exactly like the one I took out. Uh, it fits perfectly in the old counter. So that's exactly what I wanted to use. I actually have an old faucet that I took out of another remodeling project, which I'm going to use as my new faucet on the head. So what I did was I took the old counter and I had a scrap of um, old from uh, old countertop from another uh, kitchen project and I just used a piece of that marked it off and with the table saw and I could have used a circular saw but I went ahead and used this table saw because it get, gave me good strong straight edges the most important edge is this front edge right here because what I'm going to do is I'll take some laminate and glue on that front because that will be exposed. The other three sides, there's a wall here, there's a back wall here, and a side wall right here. So I'm not going to have to worry about that. That's going to be right up against the wall. Now with the original counter, there was no backsplash, and there really isn't much room for a backsplash because you can see how close it is to the back and how close the faucet is right there to the right side. So I was able to salvage, I just kind of had to carefully cut a piece to fit us just a very small back, backsplash, kind of a transition from the counter to the wall. It'll just make it look a little bit more finished. So I went ahead and cut that. So the next step, once again, I took the new sink and it fits perfectly into the bottom of the old counter, even where the screws go. Even where the screws go, here, here, and then two on the back side here. We're actually on the front side because this is upside down. So since that fits so perfectly, there's no reason why I can't put the sink back exactly where it was. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, I'm going to mention one thing. I'm going to just lightly trace with this pencil where the sink is going to go and where the faucet's going to go. Then, I'm going to take this off. I'm going to put blue tape or tape over where the circles are for the faucet and where the large circle is for the uh, sink. And then I'm going to put this back on here again and trace for good. The reason for that is when you cut in, the, in this, you do want to tape the so tape wherever you're going to cut or wherever you're going to drill so you don't mess up the surface. So you'll see how I'm going to do this. All right, now I've gone ahead and I've taped where I'm going to mark. I marked it first just lightly with the pencil, and then I went back over it with the tape, and now I'm going to mark it again made my marks now you can I apologize for using the blue tapes with the black markings but you should be able to see the area I've marked off for the sink and the area I've marked off for the faucet now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put more blue tape on because after I drill it and then use I need to protect the surface from the jigsaw so uh, I'm going to put down some more tape to protect the countertop from the jigsaw as it works its way around. I am now ready to drill and then use the jigsaw. Now, I didn't tape as much on the inside because that's what's being cut out. So what I did primarily was making sure I had given myself plenty of tape on the outside because that will be the part of the counter that I'll be saving. 